Okay. Hey, everybody, and welcome to Read On. I have currently stopped numbering these things because the, uh, the hashtags never work anyway. So I don't know what number we're on. I think I'm on number 70 or something like that. So anyway, today we've got uh, Camille Renee, author of Hidden Wings, and Sarah, I do not know how to pronounce your last name. I'm not even going to try. So we have her on too of Snow Like Ashes, and I have books here. Uh, there was a slight mix-up that worked in my favor. Uh, we've got two copies of Snow Like Ashes today for the read-on, as well as two copies, because your publisher sent me two copies as well, that are not signed for the review that should be posted here in about two weeks or so. My uh, calendar crashed, so I'm kind of trying to add stuff back onto it. And then we will also be getting, and these, well, can you personalize these for the winners? Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, so Cameo actually sent me uh, finished copies of everything, but they're signed to me, so I get to keep them. They're mine. So she will be sending them out to the winners. So you get both books 1 and what 1.5. This is 1.5, right? Yes. Okay, so you get books 1 and 1.5, and they will be personalized to you. So you can't beat that. <laughs> so that works. Okay, so we'll bring on Cameo here, and she can explain her book. And you're good okay. to go. Oh, I'm good? Okay. Hi, everyone. <laughs> My name is Tamia Renee, and I am a young adult um, fiction author. I write young adult paranormal romance. Um, uh, my first series is the Hidden Me series. Um, it's about angels and fallen and um, just a lot of fun suspense and romance. And um, I also have a post-apocalyptic dystopian um, series, um, The Afterlife Saga. Um, ARV3 is the first book, and Saints from is the second. And yeah, so those are pretty awesome. Is that it? <laughs> and Sarah, how do you pronounce your last name? <laughs> it's Rash. Like Rash, the, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's actually my maiden name. My married name is way easier, but I wanted to keep my super complicated maiden name to make it hard for readers to find me. <laughs> um, yes, I'm Sarah Rash. I'm the author of The Why Fantasy Snow Like Ashes. Uh, it's the first in a trilogy. It just came out in October, though, so the other two books are not out yet. The second one will be out uh, fall 2015, and the third one fall 2016. Um, it's about a 16-year-old girl named Mira, who is one of the last surviving refugees from the Kingdom of Winter, and she was trying to help the other refugees free their enslaved kingdom because it was overtaken by a neighboring kingdom. Okay, so we will get on to some questions here. What did I do with my phone so I don't have to... I'm on my itty-bitty little 11-inch laptop. If you people are wondering why this looks so strange, that would be why. Because normally I'm on my gigantic computer, but I decided to cheat today since nobody is home. Okay, so the first question is, I have been watching Sarah, Ma uh, Sarah Mass promo for her upcoming novel, Court of Thorns and Roses. She recently gave us the inspiration for her books. Would you consider doing videos like this to share your thoughts with your fans? Cameo. Oh, me. Okay, um, gosh. Yeah, I'm not very camera friendly. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm trying to get on camera a little bit more. Um, I do have this. I'm on my laptop, and I just figured out, like, two days ago how to work my camera. So <laughs> definitely would, um, you know, I'll, I'm game for, for anything. And Sarah? Yeah, actually, I do videos already. Um, I have a YouTube account. Uh, it's just, uh, I think, youtube.com slash Sarah Rash. And I make a lot of ridiculous videos. Um, I did a video of myself when I got my arcs for Snow Like Ashes. And I do videos of, like, I did videos on my tour. Um, I try to do, I, I'm going to try to start doing more videos. So, yeah, I definitely will do videos about the inspiration behind my books and other such craziness. I try to make them embarrassing, as embarrassing as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have sound effects. Okay, so I guess this question is for Cameo, and it's what is next on the horizon? 
for Cameo Renee. You've done Zombies and Angels. What are you going to thrill us with next? Well, I was thinking, um, I do have a lot on, oh God, there's so many different things I have. I have um, a children's fantasy that I've been working on that's on the back burner that I really, really wanted to get out. But I also have contemporary romance. Um, I have some horror. Um, there's, um, oh gosh. I, I just have to sit down when I'm done. The, the next book that I'm actually going to be writing after Gilded Wings will be the next um, book in the Afterlight Saga. I'm going to finish that off and then I'm going to start a new series. So I just have to figure out which one I'm going to do next. But um, yeah, so I I guess you can say that I don't have the answer to that right now. <laughs> but there's many different things coming up next year for sure. Well, you will be the first angel book that I've read in over four years. So, oh. <laughs> so you should feel really lucky because I, I have been off angels for a while. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, so the next question is for Sarah, and uh, this is apparently from one of your fans. She loved the Twitter party you had for Snow Like Ashes. Will you be doing this again for your next novel? Oh, yeah. The Twitter party was way fun. Um... Yeah, I, I did the Twitter party, and then I also did a, um, like, I had people tweet page numbers, and I, like, tweeted lines from the page, so I'll do something like that. I spend way too much time on Twitter. I love Twitter, so I will definitely still be doing lots of promotional stuff on Twitter for book two and three. Twitter. Okay. <laughs> the next question is, do you read the reviews that people write for you for your book, or do you just take a quick peek and go about your day? Cameo? I actually, well, if it's on Amazon, I actually do read the reviews. Um, they've, I've had some really good reviews, so I'm not scared to go there. So I do read the reviews on Amazon, and I, you know, I just thank everybody that has the review because it does help. Um, you know, even if they don't like the book, you know, there are some that are really nasty, so I kind of just kind of wash that away <laughs> and, and try and move on. But, you know, as far as good reads, um, I don't. I don't even go there. So I've heard a lot of things. So I just kind of stay away from that. Um, I do re appreciate all the reviews, though, but um, I don't see them <laughs> unless they're on Amazon. And Sarah? I do read some of them because um, when people tweet them to me, especially when they're like five star reviews, I'll like read them because you know it's, it's happy making and stuff. Um, I don't like seek them out though. So, but if people like tweet them at me, I'll read them. Um, I don't spend a ton of time on Goodreads. I do every once in a while try to check because I get some messages on there and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's mostly just because I'm too busy. <laughs> I used to have time to, but now with the the trilogy and the works, like things are crazy. So I don't really have a whole lot of time to. Okay, uh, the next is just a shout out for Sarah that she just saw the 2014 Book Shimmy Awards and that you got New Kid on the Shelf and that you are awesome and she is over the moon about how awesome you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was way fun. <laughs> uh, the next question is, have you guys read each other's books? I have not yet, but I am looking forward to reading Sarah's book. Ditto, the same, yeah. It looks really interesting. That's actually a question I've never actually thought to ask, you know, how, how, <laughs> how the authors read each other's books. Um, okay, um, so Cami, you're self-published, right? Well, actually, I am um, I started off self-published, but okay. then I'm now with an indie publisher, uh, Question Hearts and Black Butterfly. Okay, and then, so then what about, uh, like, Hidden Wings, that was self-published? Actually, the first book that I wrote, uh, In My Dreams, um, you don't have that one. Um, that okay. one was self-published. And then the rest of these are all with the indie publisher. Okay. So yeah. what, to you, what are the pros and cons going between the indie publisher and the self-published? Ooh. <laughs> well, um, self-publishing was a lot of work. I actually, when I first came into it, I knew absolutely nothing. And... I spent like weeks on Google trying to figure out even how to format my book and um, you know just even how to start how to write the first chapter how to space it out and everything so you know it was a, it was a total total learning process for me I what I didn't even know what social media was when I first started so um, just I just gradually kind of 
taught myself and and myself. Self publishing um, was a lot of work for me uh, when I did jump into um, my indie publisher and I did get accepted. Um, you know, they really helped a lot. So you know, they do a lot of promotions for me, and you know, it's kind of like a the authors there. It's, it's it's a family atmosphere, so you know, and everybody supports everybody else, and I and I really love that. So yeah. Um, I guess the difference is, you know, just the camaraderie with the other authors. You and still have to do a lot of work. <laughs> oh yeah. And Sarah, how how do you like publishing with like main, more mainstream? Uh, I love it. <laughs> I have a lot of friends who self-published, and yeah, they look like they do a ton of work. So, and I'm lazy, so <laughs> I I love like Harper does a lot of really great stuff for me, and like they do all the layout and design stuff. And I have a really great a cover designer and cover artist, and yeah, I I love having a little team of people doing stuff for me. <laughs> it makes life really nice. <laughs> Okay, the next question is for Cameo, and um, it says, which series was your most favorite to work on, ARV3 or Hidden Wings? I would have to say Hidden Wings, um, I guess because right now I'm kind of in the middle of it. I'm writing the last book, and it is <laughs> it's emotionally damaging. <laughs> it's been emotionally damaging to me, um, you know, just knowing that the last character is, uh, I mean, it's, it's the end. Um, there, there, there are going to be deaths in this book. Um, a lot of twists and turns, and yeah, it's it's torn me apart. So, <laughs> you know, but but just the, all the different characters that I wrote, the guardians, um, all the the secondary characters, they've you know they've actually become a part of my life. So and I just spent so much time on it. You know, four books and a novella. So yeah, I, I would say right now the hidden wings. Okay, the next question is what kind of events do you do for your releases? Cameo? Oh, okay. <laughs> Actually, um, I have my PA, Amber Garcia, um, with Lady Amber's, um, Lady Amber's. She does all my releases. So we do like just fun. We have giveaways, um, play games and stuff. So actually, Gilded Wings will be having a release party. Um, it's supposed to be coming out this week, or in about a week. So um, join it. <laughs> Look for it. The next question is, oh, Sarah, what do you do for your oh. releases? Sorry. <laughs> um, well, for Smell Like Ashes, I uh, went on tour. So I did, like, five cities, I think. Um, I just went to cities where I had like friends or people that I could crash on their couch with. And it was really, really fun because I had other author friends do the events with me, so I wasn't just all by my little lonesome. Um, and it was awesome getting to meet readers, and like that's by far the, been the best part of all of this, is getting to meet readers and getting to um, get to see people and like have hear reactions about my, for my book and people excited about it. And, um, yeah, so I'll probably be doing another tour for book two and book three. Um, and I have some other events and stuff lined up between then. But yeah, definitely like doing tours and signings and stuff. All right. The next question is: If you couldn't be a writer, what would your dream? But what what dream draw? Yeah, what would your dream draw be? Oh my goodness. <laughs> um. Oh gosh. I don't know if I have any. I I don't know. Um, I worked. I wasn't, you know, a bank teller. I was a receptionist. I was an office manager. I did reservations, and I don't think I would ever want to do anything except writing. <laughs> and Sarah, if you couldn't write, what would you do? Um, I really liked all of my science classes in college. Like, like um, I took some like uh, geology classes and like those kind of things. Uh, so I'd probably do something like totally opposite of the creative artistic stuff. Probably go into like some kind of science field, um, cause just give my, my mind a break from the, <laughs> the creative writing stuff. Okay, the next question is for uh, Cameo. Do you plan to write a spinoff for Hidden Wings? Centering on specific characters after Gilded Wings is published. Um, I kind of had a feeling this question was going to come up. Um, 
I'm thinking about it, um, really, really considering it, and um, I do have a few characters in mind that I do want to write a spin-off on, especially Dom. He's a secondary character, <laughs> but everybody loves him. <laughs> I lost my window. Okay, uh, the next question is um, for Sarah. For book two, will it actually be a book two or will it be a companion novel? No, uh, each book in the trilogy will be a uh, still Mira. Uh, so it's still a continuation of her story and a continuation of um, the fight that she encounters in book one. Um, and it takes it starts up like oh gosh, like three months after the end of book one, so like a little bit of time has passed, um, but it's still still very much her story, and like, all the other characters are still there as well, but she's still very stubborn and about telling her tale. And will there be any novellas? Um, I have some ideas for some novellas. Um, there's some characters who are side characters who are very, very loud and have their own stories that they really want to tell as well. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to put those into novella sometime. Um, nothing's been set in stone yet, but there's some things hopefully in the works. The next question is, what kind of research did you have to do for your books? Cameo? Um, well, um, I, I did very minimal research for um, the Hidden Wings series. So for ARV3, I actually had to do a lot of digging. Um, just the whole apocalypse and, you know, the solar flares. And I had to do a lot of just, you know, um, just, to make, so just to make sure that my facts were correct so people weren't like, oh, my God, like, where did she pull that? That's, like, not real. So <laughs> just to make it more realistic, I did do a lot of research for the afterlife problem. And Sarah? Uh, most of the research I did, cause since it's for fantasy, I get to make up a lot of stuff. Um, but a bulk of the research that I do is for um, the different cultures for the different kingdoms, because I like pulling things from um, our world cultures. So I try to do a lot of, um, like, the, like, some kingdoms you get to meet in the book, too. Like, uh, the kingdom of Yakim is kind of, like, Germanic, French-inspired, and uh, the kingdom of Ventrali is... Uh, kind of Venetian, so I do a lot of research into their cultures and some of their traditions to try to make my role feel more authentic and well-rounded. Okay. The next question is another one for Cameo. There has been speculation on the new horror book that you are planning to write that was based on a nightmare you had. Are there any details on that story? Um, no. <laughs> Um, it, it was just, you know, um, I really don't want to give away details because that's actually going to give away most of the plot. So um, I will, as, as time gets closer, it's, it's kind of just a paragraph right now that I have in my notes. <laughs> so um, as I start to grow on that and I get to it after the Afterlight Saga, um, I will definitely release more information about that. Okay. The next question is, how did you come up with the title? Uh, ARV3? Cameo. Yep, Cameo. ARV3? Oh yes. <laughs> how did you come up with your how much How did you come up with your titles? Oh my titles. Okay. Well, um, Hidden Wings was actually my husband came up with that title. Um, we were searching for a title for it. I kind of explained the story to him. He hasn't read the stories, but um, he was, you know, in the bathroom one day and he was just listening to music and all of a sudden it came to him and he was like, oh, how about Hidden Wings? And it just kind of like, oh my gosh, you know, that's awesome. So I went on Amazon and typed it up and there wasn't anything um, that said Hidden Wings at the time. so. I ran with it, and then broken wings, tethered wings. I thought I just stuck with the wings. Um, Gilded wings. The last book actually um, was given to me by one of my um, author friends, um, um, S.K. Whiteside. And ARB3 actually, <laughs> um, I I just I just titled that. I didn't even know it's just, it's anti radiation vaccine, and that's pretty much what they used um, to create. Existence in the book, so I just held it, just went around with it. So, yeah. 
<laughs> just a mix and match of all different kinds of things. And Sarah? Uh, Snow Like Ashes was actually taken from a different story that I had. It was called White Like Ashes, and I really liked the title set up, and I needed a, a something that I could make ser a, a titles match in a series with, like a title setup. Uh, so I just took that and swapped it out for Snow Like Ashes, and it ended up fitting really well with um, the mood I wanted to go for in these books. And I'm excited to release the titles for title for book two, because I'm can, can, going to be doing that sometime this month. So that will be fun. <laughs> <laughs> I like when they play off of each other, like, you know, the hidden wings and stuff. I think the, the best one that I've seen is uh, The Darkest Minds, because they actually create, like, an entire sentence for the hidden minds um, never fade in the twilight, which is really awesome, and I've never seen somebody do that before. Wow. Yeah. That was that was really awesome. Uh, and and the scary thing is my ten my ten year old realized that they said that. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, what are you reading right now, if anything? I'm reading. Um, well, I'm in the process, and I'm not, you know, in the cave. I I started Cambria Hubert's. Uh, the hashtag series, nerd. So, um, love it. It's a fun read. I'm reading um, an arc of uh, Victoria Aveyard's Red Queen. Uh, comes out in February, I think, maybe sometime next sometime next year. Um, it's really, really excellent. It's kind of like a dystopian fantasy almost. Um, it's another Harper book, so I get to sometimes pick their arcs and it's fun. I have that too. <laughs> <laughs> I won't get to it until January, though. <laughs> Let's see, uh, who is your favorite author? Cameo? Oh gosh, there are there's too many. Um, I don't know. Um, just off of the top of my head, I just have to say J.K. Rowling. <laughs> Love her book. She's An fun. oldie but a goodie. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Sarah. Uh, my favorite author is, uh, she's an adult fantasy author. Her name is Sharon Chin. Uh, she wrote particularly the 12 Houses series. Uh, I read it when I was um, in high school, and I love that series. I still reread it to this day, and it's just, these, her, her world building and her characters and her magic system, it was all just, it was so amazing. And reading it, I knew I wanted to write a world this as incredible as her world. So she's always been my inspiration for um, writing my own fantasy stuff. The next question is, and I'll just start with you, Sarah. Um, when you're not writing, what are you doing? <laughs> there are times when I'm not writing. Uh, no. um, most lately, it's been just like marketing stuff. So like I'll be doing Twitter or Tumblr or setting up contests or um, arranging to go to conferences or so. I, or yeah, so that's pretty much my whole life is something revolving around publishing. Um, yeah, I, I used to have other hobbies and things, but I don't remember what those were or what that was like. <laughs> and cameo? Um, oh, gosh. When I'm not writing, I just try to get out of the house and do things. Um, you know, just even just getting out for a drive or something just to get away from the cave. <laughs> but, yeah, I do, I do do a lot of marketing and stuff, um, you know, when I'm not writing. That takes up a lot of time. And, um, yeah, but mostly just spend time with family. I try and, you know, keep the balance there. <laughs> it's got to be hard. So some of the authors that we've had on, they also have, like, full-time jobs outside of the home. And it's like, I don't know how they do all of it. Okay, um, how long did it take you to write, uh, we'll go with Broken Wings. How long did it take you to write Broken Wings? Broken Wings, it took me, I would Oh gosh, about six months. Not bad. And Sarah, how long did it take you to write Snow Like Ashes? Um, well, I actually wrote the first draft when I was um, a preteen, <laughs> so it's been a long time coming. Um, but I, when I was went back and was uh, seriously thinking about it, making it something that I wanted to get published. Um, it took me about a year to start from scratch, and since the world was mostly already built, um, I just picked things from it that I still wanted to keep and picked the characters and kept the plot kind of the same. Um, but so it took me about a year to get the draft ready and then, of course, like editing and stuff. But for, yeah, for fantasy or for that book, it was about a year. Okay. 
The next question is for Sarah. Does Snow Like Ashes end on a cliffhanger? The book or the trilogy? The, the, the book. first book. The first book does not actually. It's a pretty complete story. Um, and it was kind of an unintentionally complete story. <laughs> like I know people like when like books and series don't end on terrible cliffhangers. Um, probably can't promise the same for book two though, <laughs> unfortunately. Okay, the next question is for Renee for Cameo. Did you imagine from the beginning that Hidden Wings would end as a four book series? Um, it actually started out um, to just be, be a trilogy and um, after the third book I was like this is going to take another book so I decided that it would be um, four. And, yeah, it was supposed to be a trilogy though but it turned into four books. Uh, the next question is, was the cover that you have for your books, was it the first cover or did you go through multiple covers? Cameo? Oh, um, it is It's the first cover. Um, it was designed by Regina Wamba of May I Design. Actually, she designed all my covers and I absolutely adore them. <laughs> She's amazing. And Sarah? Um, it is. Uh, they showed me the, the cover comp and I loved it and they moved into the, the final design that you have now. Um, it was done by um, a designer at Harper and then they uh, contracted the artist to do the cover and they're both fantastic. Um, yeah, and they, the, they have the same team doing book cover for book two and book three and they're all incredible. I've seen the cover for book two already and it's amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad they're sticking with it because I know like people hate when the covers change halfway through the series. So, <laughs> yeah, I like my books to match. They have to match. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So the next question is for Sarah. How many emails and tweets and shouts and stuff have you gotten? Because it's the first thing that I saw it when I, when the books came in the mail and I seen it. That what is going on with uh um what's her face um. <laughs> Zena, Warrior Princess, oh, yes. her, her yeah. <laughs> I've actually got a lot of people like, are you legally allowed to have Zena Shockroom on your gut? Like, yeah, it's fine. It's, 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 it's okay, I promise. Because um, actually, yeah, the Shockroom was inspired by Zena because I was looking for a really cool long range weapon. And one of my friends was like, oh, you should do like Zena Shockroom. It's like a frisbee with a blade on it, like a frisbee of death. I was like, okay, I have to do the frisbee of death. Um, so yeah, I've gotten a lot of people recognize that. Um, since it's kind of an older TV show, not a lot of like like teenagers recognize it, but I get a lot of like like older um, generations recognizing it because yeah, Zena Shockroom was pretty awesome. Gotta bring it back. It definitely makes your book stand out versus other people because like all the other fantasy stuff, it's always you new know, swords, bows and arrows, knives, and that is completely off the wall. You know, out of left field. You know, you haven't seen it in a while, so it definitely worked to your advantage. I think. Yeah, I think so too. Okay, let's see. The next question is, we'll go, we'll start with Cameo. What is the strangest place that you have found inspiration? I can actually get most of my inspiration in the shower. <laughs> it's like the, the one place that you can't write anything down. <laughs> but yeah, um, some of my greatest inspirations yeah, are happening when the water's pounding on my head. I don't know if it's like some kind of portal or something. <laughs> but yeah, so the shower. You just you need like a life proof case on your on an iPad or something, and you can write in the shower. Yeah. <laughs> and Sarah? Um I watch a lot of like weird documentaries when I want to get like particularly inspired. Um I have some sci-fi ideas, so right now I've been watching a lot of like the sci-fi stuff on Netflix, like all their documentaries. They have the um, like Neil deGrasse Tyson has that series on Netflix that's what I've been watching, and so I just do a lot of weird, weird shows like that and try to ask the like what if questions. Uh, the next question is uh, for both of you. I'll start with Sarah. Um, if you could hop into your book, would you? <laughs> yeah, I think that'd be super fun. Um, I don't know if the so I probably wouldn't hop into the book as the author because I feel like the characters would be really mad at me. So I'd hop into the book like as another character. <laughs> um, yeah, um, I, I definitely hop into my 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 books. Um, I mean, who would he with like six gorgeous guardians? <laughs> 
Now, would you hop into your book as your main character? <laughs> oh, no, because I do not have Mira's talent for long-range weaponry, so I would die very quickly. <laughs> That's what I tell people for Jurassic Park. Toss me into Jurassic Park. I'm gonna if I'm alive for two seconds, I'll be surprised. Toss me in a world with magic. I think I'll fare just fine. I'll be just fine. Okay. Uh, the next question is for Cameo. Will In My Dreams remain as a standalone or include a sequel coming soon? In My Dreams, I actually pulled In My Dreams from Amazon for the time because. That one is, because it is a standalone um, and it was the first book I wrote, I'm actually going to go back and um, update it. So I'm in the process of getting a cover remade for it and I'm just going to go in after, I don't know, I don't know when I will have the time, but I'm going to go in sometime between the first of the um, Fielded and the next year, after I go in and update that book and then resubmit it. But yes, there is um, a second book going to be coming out. Not sure when, but... Hopefully next year. Okay. Uh, the next question is, do you have a specific writing style? Cameo? Um, I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> Are you a planner? Do you plan stuff out? Do you have a float chart for how you want your story to go? Or are you just a... Uh, Swing by the okay. seat of my pants and I'm just typing away. Yeah, actually, my brain is so fried right now because I've been in the writing cave. But, um, yes, I do I do not plan. I am not a planner. I've tried to plan. And, you know, it works great for some writers, but for me, it never works. Um, I, 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 I take simple notes, but usually um, I write. I'm a pantser. I, I just write and it comes to me. So that's... Um, I guess that's how it works for me. And Sarah? I am a huge plotter uh, with fantasy books especially. I cannot <laughs> imagine just like going by the seat of my pants with this one. Uh, there's so many characters and so many plot lines and so many like world building things to keep track of. Um, yeah, I have so many notes and like Excel spreadsheets and just crazy amounts of like background detail things that, yeah, I, I plot way too much. <laughs> Uh, the next question is for Sarah. With this being your debut, did you was anything surprising? Um, I was surprised how tired I was. Uh, October fourteenth hit, and I was just like dead, which is fun because then I went on tour like the day after. Um, yeah, I just there's so much build up and so much like anticipation and like preparing and doing all this marketing stuff that I didn't realize how much I was doing and how tired I was gonna get until it came out, and then my body just went nope, and I was just exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the next question is, who are your targeted readers? What age group is your book for? Sarah? Uh, my book, I think they say like 12 and up on the uh, our book itself, so probably anybody who likes fantasy, you know. <laughs> and Cameo? Um, mine is about the same. Um, my target is probably about 13 and up. Um, they are queen books, so, but I do get a lot of my readers are... <laughs> okay, uh, the next question is, uh, since you both are writing, um, since they're both series, uh, do you find yourself having to go back to the previous books to continue on with a series? Cameo? Oh, yes, um, I do. Actually, I do have a set of books um, next to me that I do just flip through. Like, if I have a question, I'll just you know, pick up the book that I think it's in <laughs> and try and skim to find it. And when I do, yeah, so it really helps to, to have the book, like, on hand to go back to. Sarah? Yeah, um, right now, so I'll be, I'm writing book three as I'm, uh, like, editing and copy editing book two. So it kind of helps to have the overlap of, like, reminding myself of all the information that's in book two to, that I need to bring into book three. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely go back and I need to make sure that like I explain something this way or because things change so much from drafting to editing that I have to make sure that the details stay the same and that um, like certain characters are still there. <laughs> Don't accidentally kill somebody off that was supposed to be still be that they're still alive in book three. That would be really bad. <laughs> okay, the next question is for Cameo. Is writing a sequel easier or harder than writing a brand new book plot wise and character wise? Um well I, I think it's um, oh gosh, 
I, I would say it's easier because I already have the characters there and I pretty much know where they're going to go. Well, not all the time, but um, you know, just because the, it's, everything has been explained already, so they're kind of into it, so the sequel just carries on. So yeah, I would say that the sequel is easier than starting a brand new book for me. <laughs> Okay, and let's see, this is the last question that was text or that was emailed to me, and I lost the stupid thing. Okay, let's see here. Dun, 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 dun. Sorry. Bad thing using the laptop. On here somewhere, I promise. <laughs> hey. Okay, yeah, this is about uh, the Hunger Games. Have you guys seen the new Hunger Games movie? I have not seen the recent one. I saw um, one and two, but I am looking forward to seeing this one. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet either. Um, I'm kind of cheap, so I don't really go see movies in theaters. <laughs> I have free tickets, so that's why I got to go see it. <laughs> I got lucky. Okay, and that is the last question that I have. So, um, is there anything else that you would like to let your readers know about your books, Cameo? Um, oh gosh, just that uh, Gilded Wings comes out in about a week. Um, it's the end of the Hidden Wings series, and it's, it's just wrapping it up. Um, there will be more with um, the Afterlight Saga. It's, I, I'm saying it'll probably be about four books as well. And um, the Gilded Wing is um, it's going to be a tearjerker. <laughs> I'm just letting everybody know ahead of time. <laughs> so yeah, I mean that's pretty much. Uh, I mean my I, my brain is so fried right now. I'm I'm. I'm having a hard time even saying sentences. <laughs> all of us are like half dead. It's the ho it's the holidays. That's all it is. It's the holidays. It is. <laughs> and Sarah? Um. Well, Snow Like Ashes is out now. It came out October fourteenth, so it should be out in all the bookstores. Um, and I have a I have seasonal contests. Um, kind of like my street team. Uh, the next one's coming up on December tenth. It's my winter contest. Uh, it's the first. That my my first season contest since Snow Like Ashes released, so it's going to be extra special and fun. Um, yeah, that's December tenth. It'll be on my Tumblr and Twitter, and it'll be everywhere. Okay. And last but not least, uh, you can shout out to whoever or whatever you want. Oh gosh, <laughs> there's so many people that I want to shout out to. Um, my family one for you know just um, all their patience with me <laughs> and for me disappearing a lot. Um, to my, you know, my publisher, um, Sarah Davis and Christian Hearts and Black Butterfly for all their support. Uh, Regina Wamba, who is, is the cover artist, um, cover designer. Um, Victoria Ray Schmidt, she's my editor. And um, we work really well together. But, um, you know, I have author friends as well that, you know, I talk to every day and we give support. Um, Cambria Siebert, Amber Garza, um, you know, they're just amazing people that, you know, help push me to keep writing. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, there's so many more, but and the list can go on and on, but those are the main ones that um, are on my list right now. And Sarah? Um, I, well, the acknowledgments in Snow Like Ashes got all gushy and mushy, so <laughs> whenever I do things like this, I'll just say to all, like, that my winterians and my fandom, um, and, like, yeah, of course, like, my family and all those people who, like, support me in my craziness, <laughs> but they're, they're sufficiently thanked in my acknowledgment section, or <laughs> I got very, very mushy and tearful. All right, well, thank you, ladies, so much for coming on. If you decide that you want to come back, just let me know. And um, the reviews for these should be up in around two weeks or so. I've got four stacks over that I still have to add on to my calendar after it crashed. So <sighs> the holidays kind of suck. So uh, 
I will definitely get that on, and, and it will tweet to both of you when they publish, so you will know that they awesome. are. Awesome. So thank you. Thank you so much for coming on. Yeah, thank you for having thank us. So Bye. 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 <laughs>You guys just hit the little telephone thingy up there to hang up. Where is it? <laughs> it's if you put your mouse over, like, my face. It's, oh. like, right above me. Oh, I see it. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, and um, if you're still around, because I know the Christmas is creeping up on us ever so fastly, um, next week... I think that's next week. Is that next week? Yes. Next week is our last show of um, of the year. We will not be back until January the 10th. And uh, next week we will be having Jane Yolen, the awesome sauce Jane Yolen. She is a, an older lady, but an awesome lady. Uh, she has published over, I think, 70 different books. Um, we're also going to be having on Maria Valderin. Uh, she is another um, indie author, as well as Skylar Dorset for the. She's coming back for book two of um, the girl with the hidden name. Uh, she's coming back with book two with no. It's the boy with the hidden name. Sorry, it's been a really bad day today. Let me go figure out what the okay. The girl who never was was book one. Book she's coming back for book two. The boy with the hidden name which um, I think it's currently out. Yes, which is currently out, as well as um, Sherry Ficklin, Ficklin will also be coming on for Queen of Someday, which was amazing. So definitely check back um, next week. Uh, the event is on my Facebook page. If you go to facebook.com, crossword review, you will find it there. And I am going off here. If you need the link for the giveaway, it is on the event page. And I will catch you guys later. Bye, and happy holidays.